right, so our second talk is from Henry Chen. He's going to be talking to us about auto magic assignment using the prepare attribute. Without further ado, let's give a great applause to Henry. Hi. Um, <clears throat> I saw this tweet on Twitter I thought it was appropriate for this talk. Um, hopefully you'll have some knowledge going out of here to do, do bad things with your code. Um, I, I teach Python, so I'm, I'm free to you know, write crazy code. Um, who's heard of the prepare method? All right, success. So at least now you know there is such a thing called the prepare method. Um, all right, so uh, the, the idea is um, let's, let's motivate this. Um, the center module contains an enum module in its own library. And the idea is that you, know, you can define a class with attributes on it, give them arbitrary values so that later on in your code you can refer to the attributes and not the values. And this is useful to you know, guard against uh, typos and such. So you may have done this um, you know, often in, in code. Um, so let me execute this. Um, so this is Jupyter Notebook, so it's actually running code. And this is, you get what you expect, right? The, the values are what you, what you say. Uh, there's, a, there's a problem, which is um, in other languages like C, you don't need to specify the values, they just auto increment. In Python, you cannot do that. Um, so if I, you know, with, without assignment, um, this actually still runs. So this is a little strange, and it turns out that I'm not importing the standard library enum, but rather the customized enum. So let's talk about how that, that's uh, possible. So PEP 3115 um, from 2007 introduced a prepare method, and the prepare method uh, returns a dictionary or something like a dictionary and that's the kind of the context for when you define a class, um, red, green, and blue, they're basically lookups from this context. So normally when you de define a class, uh, you're just trying to look things up from this dictionary that the prepare method returns, and of course it's not found, so you would get an error message. Um, so, this prepare method lives on the type object, which is the meta class for um, most custom classes that you make. So it's, it's kind of like the, the class of classes, right? Every class is an instance of the type class. Um, so the prepare method is just this built-in method that if you call it, it gives you this dictionary, and this dictionary provides the context for what happens when we define a class. Um, so, so what we can do is, because type is a class, we can subclass it. So we're gonna make a subclass of type called the enum meta, and we'll just override the prepare method. Uh, it's, it's gonna take arbitrary arguments, so I don't really care what the arguments are, and it'll return a custom dictionary, uh, which is an instance of a dictionary called autodict, and that is defined uh, like so. So this is really where all the machinery resides. Uh, it doesn't, it's not that interesting. Um, the Dondra init sets up a counter, so we can, you know, start from some number, which is zero. Um, and the important part happens in the get item method, which is what happens when you try to get something out of a dictionary. And so I put in a print statement to show you, um, you know, what exactly is given to this uh, method later on. So when I ask for red, um, it triggers this method, and we will set red to be self.count, which is zero, and increment the count for the next attribute um, in the definition of the class. So then all, well, all, we, all that remains to do is we'll, we'll use the enum meta uh, rather than type to instantiate a class called enum, and we'll just pass because we don't have anything else left over. Um, so you can see that the type of enum is not type, but enum meta. So with that print statement, if I run the same code, you see that the dictionary is going to automatically assign incremental integers to the attributes in the order in which it sees it. 
And so that's how the um, enum works, the auto-incrementing enum. That's it. I'm uh, giving a workshop at PyBay, and all the proceeds will go back to SF Python, and we'll attempt to cover the entirety of KNR uh, in one afternoon. So uh, please sign up, otherwise they will cancel the talk. So, um, and you can find on my blog um, on GitHub uh, a write-up of this, this talk where you'll see all the code. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have time for a couple of questions. Anyone have a question for? OK. Hi. What, what, what is this uh, method primarily great for? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> so the, the question was, uh, what good is this method for? Um, and my answer was, I don't know. Um, because I knew about this method for some time, but I couldn't think of a use case for it until I just thought about you know, making an enum with it. Um, if you read the documentation, I mean, this is from 2007. Um, it doesn't really indicate any use case. And, uh, <laughs> So I think it has somewhat languished in, in obscurity. Uh, so perhaps you can think of use cases. <laughs> OK. All right. I have a question. Uh, what about int enum? What's wouldn't, that? What about int enum? Wouldn't that solve this problem here? Uh, I'm not aware of int enum. Oh, OK, yeah. The, the enum module in the standard library does have an ability to auto increment, but you have to assign each attribute to something called auto. Oh, so okay. you still have to do a lot of you know, more typing than simply putting the attributes there like you would do in C. OK, yeah. One, one thing I like doing is uh, using in, you know, for some of these things, which is effectively it's like defined as the old way um, name tuples were defined. So mm -hmm. you have like all the various choices, and it automatically increments them for yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Questions? All right, thank you very much.